Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is my gaming performance test of the Umidigi A3. I'm filming this one indoors and the lighting is less than ideal but I'm sure that the display is what you're looking for anyway and that will be clear and sound. I'm currently playing this one on the lowest possible settings so I'm just going to show you here uh, graphic settings I'm playing the low uh, low settings, frame rates, and the smooth graphic settings. Um, I'm trying to get the smoothest experience possible on this guy, and I hope that I would. So this is what you're going to experience when you play um, or try to play PUBG on the Umidi G A3. Okay, so. Like I said in my review that it won't play the, the PUBG, but actually it does. However choppy the experience is, it is still playable. This is amazing from a low-end chip. Um, well, is, is, is it really amazing? I would say it's unexpected. You know, I didn't expect this guy to play PUBG, but as you can see here, it does. Yeah, at the end of this video, I'm going to show the Antutu benchmark test. That's something I didn't do in my full review. So yeah always hoping to get the most action for this game um, so I can show you guys you know a lot about the gaming experience but yeah so far I think that it's it's not too bad not too bad And I'm not sure why, but it's very hard to wield this car. Let's go over to where the action is and and I'm blocking the speaker half of the time just because it's so easy to block the speaker. Uh, and I'm currently on, I guess it's not very loud. The speaker is not actually not very loud uh, for this game. can see how laggy it is to just drive this thing it's getting very very warm around the camera and generally just it's getting too hot and I feel like it's going to be too hot to detach any minute now So I'm currently riding with um, someone in the game who is paired with me, which is fun. One of the fun things you can do on PUBG. So I guess overall, I would say that the gaming experience is is not 
as bad as I thought it would be. It's definitely playable, so in my review, I was wrong. This can play PUBG. And I'm kinda glad that it can. Okay, I'm in the red zone. This is getting scary, actually. Yep, it is getting scary in here. I'm going to end this game here and let's see what the experience of Asphalt 9 feels like. You can see here it's saying 40 degrees. It's pretty hot. And it's not just about the degree, how hot the battery is. The, the frame is actually hot and everything in the back, very hot. So guys, well, the Asphalt 9 is certifiably unplayable. That wasn't just me being bad. I played it and it's not, it's not working out for me. It's not playable on this guy. I've already shown you that temperature is still the same. So this is the average score that I'm getting on Antutu benchmark. Uh, you can see it's pretty much in line with this kind of chipset. And as for Geekbench, so here you have your Geekbench scores your single core and multi-core scores on Geekbench. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.